Hello and welcome to Kadoink Studios. I am back with another StarCraft replay. I know I've been doing some other games lately, um, and I promised I'd be back with StarCraft, and here I am doing a best of three between two incredible players. I managed to find a nice little replay pack between Jinro and Adele. Um, Adele is a Protoss player, and Jinro, if you don't know Jinro, is a Terran player who I think is still in Korea playing GSL. I'm not sure. I know he did very well last year. He uh, managed to get to the semifinals. I think he was the first non-Korean to to be in the, the semifinals of the GSL, which is absolutely phenomenal. So he is a force to be reckoned with. So this is the first game in the best of three, and it is on Shakur's Plateau. We have Jinro spawning in the top right corner while his opponent Adele is spawning in the top left corner, so they are close there. Probably see some sort of banshee, some sort of drops, harassment, this sort of thing, being in close air positions. And uh, both players are very good, so this should be an interesting and fun game. Um, and like I said, it's uh, first of a best of three, and I will be doing all three, I believe. Um, I downloaded them all, I plan to do them. So that will be in the near future. Uh, I'm continuing to do Realm of the God videos, Realm of the Mad God videos, as well as um, I'm going to continue the Battletoads video, and I think I'm going to try to make another League of Legends video with my friend Sean tonight. So that should be good. And so yeah, I also have some other exciting StarCraft 2 things coming up in the future. Having a lot of fun uploading videos every day. Uh, really enjoying myself. I hope you guys like the videos and tell your friends about us because I'd like to get some, uh, get some more viewers and get some more advice on what I can do better. So anyway, we have Adele going for the usual stuff. He's got his gateway going and his cybernetics core. Um, saving up some chrono boost most likely is for this warp gate. Maybe going to be getting some probes. Uh, General has scouted him. And I don't believe that Adele has seen Jinro quite yet. Jinro, on the other hand, is going for a fast expansion. Uh, looks like about a 16-17 expansion, no gas. Very typical build by Terran. It's something that I've been experimenting with. With, However, I do opt to get the gas at 15 rather than to not get the gas at all. Uh, one just leads to a more marine-heavy play. One leads to a more mech-heavy play. And I prefer kind of the heavier gas play. Uh, especially in like Terran vs Terran and Terran vs Protoss because I need to get uh, in Terran vs Terran I just flat out Thor tank uh, while in Terran vs Protoss I need to make sure I have Marauders up make sure I have Vikings and then make sure I have Ghosts if need be we see that Adele has sent his probe up into Jinro's base and he does see this fast expansion uh, he's a very good player so I'm sure by the timing he can deduce that um, General has skipped his first gas and gotten that, that uh, command center up a little bit early and because of this Adele is taking his own natural uh, knowing that he's safe to do this. He's also sending up a zealot to do some pressure but the bunker has finished and he will be pushing Adele back. Uh, this zealot will have to run away, live for another day. Um, but this is nice by Adele keeping a stalker out in front of the base make sure, making sure General doesn't push out, uh, do anything like that. In the meantime, it looks like back in Adele's base, he is getting a forge before getting more expansion. So it looks like he wants to get a more uh, econ-based game, a more macro-based game, going for these upgrades. Maybe anticipating some sort of banshee harassment because they're close air, and so he's wanting to get those cannons up a little bit early. General is still in his base, and he will see this and know that uh, no sort of four gates are coming, and so he's safe to... Uh, you know, do a whole host of strategies. Seems to be getting a reactor on the barracks, uh, so like I said, he is going for a more marine heavy play, skipping those gas in the, in, in the beginning stages. And then he's also getting this factory up, uh, maybe to do a 1 1 1 sort of thing. Maybe, yeah, indeed, he's getting this uh, starport up as well as this tech lab, and so that will allow him to get some banshees up and do some harassment because they're on close air. Also got this double gas quite early after getting his expansion. Um, I think this is for the 111. So he's doing kind of a 111 expand combo type thing. Because he knows he's safe at this point. There's no kind of four gate rush coming in. And he does have this nice bunker and almost completed wall. Which will protect him from zealots. Uh, 
and anything else to come his way, really. Uh, on the other hand, Adele is starting to get some gateways. He did build one more. Probably should be building a few more uh, in the future. He's also getting a very early Twilight Council, if I can find that. Um, ah, right here. And I, Oh, he actually did build a third gateway. So, it's very good by Adele. Going to be getting some units up at this time. Uh, needs to be ready for anything Jinra throws at him. And this Twilight Council I like quite a bit. It'll allow him to get even more upgrades. And since he's playing this kind of long-term turn upgrade-heavy game, uh, this will be quite useful. We see down in the bottom corner, we see uh, a nexus being built by Adele. Very interesting place to put a nexus. I would think to put it here or here, um, preferably here in Adele's case, more easily defendable. This is kind of odd. This is kind of a, I don't know, a, a gamble in my opinion. Uh, I believe that you can see it from this watchtower, and that's why he has a stalker here to make sure that Jinro doesn't send anything to spot that. I do think it is a bit of a risky play. In the meantime, we do see that a Banshee has popped out for Jinro at this time, and he will be going in doing some harassment. Cloak not finished, but Cloak is on the way, and it is almost finished. And if we look in Adele's base, we see no detection as well as no robotics facility, so he's really going to have to get up some cannons if he wants to see this uh, because he won't be able to get an observer anytime soon and he is going gateway heavy Banshee now coming in for general and picking off as many of these probes as they can uh, Adele knowing this is putting down a cannon but general will be able to take it out with his Banshee Adele's in a lot of trouble right now a cannon being built in his natural uh, it's good that it was started when it was did when it did huh? um, or else it might not finish in time General might have been able to kill it off, but he's not targeting it, so it will finish. Jinro is moving... Excuse me, Jinro is just killing everything, wrecking uh, some sentries as well, some probes, and now that this cannon is finished, Jinro will have to kind of back off, and he is kind of poking around, skirting around his base, checking anything out, and I really would like to see a robotics bay. Uh, in the meantime, Jinro has come back up to the, ex to the main, uh, Adele hasn't built any cannon here. Uh, he just started this one. I don't know why he didn't put it down immediately. Looks like it will be taken out. Yes, it is indeed. And now General will be able to pick off these probes as well as these stalkers. In the meantime, the other uh, the other Banshee's in a lot of trouble as it has run out of cloak. But this is just tons of damage right here. If we look in the unit's loss tab, 1600 minerals to 350. Uh, even if he lost both these Banshees, I think he'd still be ahead, so that's very good by General, doing a lot of damage initially. And meantime, in his base, we do see a lot of Marines, as well as these tanks. Uh, going to be going for a tank-Marine mixture, I believe, with Vikings to kind of support that. I think that's a good strategy. Um, I just think it's a good strategy because if General builds a lot of, or excuse me, if Adele builds a lot of Zealots, uh, they won't be able to take out the Banshee, so we'll have to get these Stalkers and sea shanks do a lot of damage to stalkers where zealots can get kind of surrounds if they have zealot legs so i think it's a nice kind of mixture and he is going to be moving out at this time with the marines also opting to get a raven uh... this might be in anticipation of dark templar or might be for point defense drones which will be very nice considering he has these banshees and adele will have to build stalkers to deal with them and like i said before now he's building a ton of zealots which are going to be good against these marines and tanks um, if they can get a good positioning, but it looks like they're not in a very good position right now, getting a little bit off guard. Jinro sieging up his tanks and pulling his marines back a little bit. We do see a point defense drone going down, as well as the Banshees coming in to take out whatever they can, cloaking them now so that they don't get taken out by the sentries and stalkers. Looks like Adele is in a lot of trouble here, as the marines are just ripping through everything, as well as the tanks, even unseizing before the battle ends, knowing that, you know, he's basically into this and he can just push forward. And uh, so he pushes forward a little bit, going to be taking out this Nexus as well as this uh, as a pylon that was powering this cannon. So not really much of a defense there. Looks like Adele is moving his stalkers forward, might be anticipating some sort of uh, counterattack, but it won't be enough. Expansion comes in and spots it, and General's Marines and Marauders, uh, excuse me, Marines and Tanks come in to try to catch these stalkers off guard. Uh, Banshee's running out of cloak at this time. Looks like he could pick him off with the Stalkers. In fact, he will be able to take one down, maybe even a second. Uh, yes, indeed, he should be able to get this. I don't know why. Yep, there it goes. But at the same time, General is going into the base with a large amount of Marines and Marauders. Should be sieging up these tanks any time now. 
Um, may not even need to. And there's a GG well played by Adele. Jinro responding with good game. And yeah, that was a really cool mixture by Jinro. Really cool harassment in the beginning of the game. Seems to work very well against a player who doesn't go any kind of robotics play. And doesn't have that uh, ability to get observers. Because when you don't have that, if it's going to be a hard time getting those cannons up as we saw Adele tried to get the cannons up and General was able to just simply pick them off um, I think he could have been a little bit better about building them and maybe could have built them a little sooner anticipating the 111 play uh, seeing as he didn't build the robotics facility uh, that's something you gotta be aware of when you're playing against a Terran player especially someone as good as Jinro who knows these kind of advantages they can they can take so Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. This is my first StarCraft II cast in a while, uh, probably about a week or so now, so I do apologize for that, but I will be making more in the future. I have two more games, so congratulations to Jinro to winning this first of uh, what I assume was the best of three, uh, because I have three replays. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this cast. Please subscribe to the channel and like it, and uh, comment. Uh, tell me what I can do better. Tell me how I can prove your experience watching StarCraft II and more StarCraft 2 to come. See you guys.